Okay, now it's time to make things pretty. I'm Mike Levin, SEO, and uh, this is what happened when I put the uh, Java, the jQuery mobile includes in there. It changed the look a little bit. It even changed the function a little bit, but we'll get back to that. What we're looking at here is the um, view source on this page here. And what I'm interested in is this slide in panel here, this slide in panel here. I really want a mobile uh, predisposed uh, UI so that it'll work great right on mobile and so that I don't have to do too much filling the screen with stuff on the desktop version. So I hit view source. And you can see that all this stuff is in here and there's no real body tags or anything. So I just am going to pick up everything and then I'll pare it down in the code. I go back over here, I find where the end body is, I hit O, give a little nice uh, room around it, escape, colon, set, paste, I for insert mode, paste everything in, escape, colon, W for write, and we'll do a refresh and see what we get. Hey, what do you know? So, um, None of this actually means anything to my app yet, and the form itself has been blown away, but where we see panel responsive as a headline, there it is. That is where a paragraph probably resides. This is a typical, let's see, ah, there it is. This is a typical. That's where we're gonna move our, our form. So this guy here, D for delete, go to here, P for paste, shift V, highlight it, insert it the amount that will make it look like the rest of the code in the example. Okay, I'll do it one more. so as to have the same indent system as them for now. But I don't think I'm gonna keep it for that long. We don't need all this. And that, I believe, is the back button, which we don't want. Get rid of all that, save it. Now we should at least have our form visible again. Yay, we do. Starting to look a little more uh, pretty, isn't it? Panel responsive, uh, the first place it says that should say, Hipulate. Whoops. Do a refresh. Starting to look good. We don't really need that second pipulate headline there now, do we? And we start to massage things into place a little bit better. Uh, this button should not be nearly so wide, but uh, before we do that, I'm going to uh, trim down a lot of the options and just keep a couple of options here. And that actually is pretty good. Uh, there's got to be a, a context of uh, the Gmail stuff you're using, and I can probably recycle that for something I need to solve in the future, which is a configuration of this system to be tied to your uh, Google account. So let's find that giant list of options that is the, over here. Certainly don't need all those around as examples. Don't want to pollute the, uh, the repository too much. And I'll change a few of these names. Sample option one. Sample option two. Sample option three. Do 
do a refresh, take a look. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, uh, that should pretty much be the end of the uh, the tutorial at this point, but I think I'm just going to go for making that pipulate button a little narrower. So let's go over here, let's go out of this, and go to uh, the demos, which I think was on the back button a few times on here. Uh, demos, okay, we'll go in like that. Oh yeah, we want to hit the demos for 1.4.4. Now we're going to look at buttons. Buttons do tend to be wide, the full width of the phone. And uh, let's see, we want a narrower button, not with an X on it. We don't think I don't think we need icons at this point. But color and centering would be nice. Still be auto enhance prevent this. Hmm. Left, right. That's for uh, positioning an icon. Icon position. Mini. As far as vertical. Do buttons always stretch the whole width? Button. This is just a button. In line. Oh, maybe in line is what I want. An in line button. Probably that, yeah. View source of an in line button. Okay. So it's anchor text and a button class. Very interesting. What's our button to make it pipulate? That's this guy here. So let's try and replace that. An input field of type submit. Instead we go with these guys. And for now I'll just stack it right underneath. Okay, those are the two different kinds. That's an anchor and that's a button. So we don't need the anchor. And all we have to do is give this a class maybe of a UI button. Input type submit. Button type equals submit. Let's try that. And then it'll have this class here. And then some text. Pipulate. End button. Let's see if it's as simple as that. There we go. Oh, and it actually submits it. So if we put in the, uh, let's just do hello world, put in the correct key, hit pipulate, we should see hello world come back, which we did. Okay, so we got the button size under control. And uh, let's see, uh, we actually want to see if we can center that. Let's see if that's just built in here somewhere. Center. No, we can't center, huh? C 
So that is CSS for centering a button. Just stick a dev text align center onto the parent div. I might throw a div just around it for the sake of just getting it done. Get her done. That's it. That's a good stopping point. Things are starting to look pretty. And uh, I got the makings of a user interface going here with exactly the options I need. Thanks for joining me. Hope to talk to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe.